Back in the mid to late 2000s, almost all of the internet was engaged in a very interesting debate. And it was a debate that shaped my young adulthood and high school years, and one that helped me uh, form my worldview even at a young age. And that was the debate between atheists and religious people, between the so-called New Atheist Movement and various Christian apologists, as well as other conservative groups who oppose them. And it seems like uh, starting around 2010 or 2011, the entire internet just sort of forgot about it. And I've been thinking about it recently, and I've just been uh, reflecting on it and wondering why we forgot about it, and also on reflecting on some of the things I learned from that debate. The term New Atheist and the debate in general really took off around 2004 to 2006, when the so-called Four Horsemen of the New Atheist Movement, Richard Dawkins, uh, Sam Harris, Christopher Hitchens, and... Uh, what was his name? Dennett? I can't remember his first name, but you know who I'm talking about. Daniel Dennett, I think? Anyways, this debate was a very interesting one. It featured often passionate arguments in public forums between uh, Christian apologists like William Lane Craig and vehement atheists like Richard Dawkins and Christopher Hitchens. Forums and YouTube were filled with arguments about whether or not God existed. You know, Christians would use things like the arguments from intelligent design, the uh, fine-tuning argument, the anthropic principle, other things along those lines, and atheists would refute them. Prominent atheists like uh, The Amazing Atheist, Thunderfoot, Brett Keen, they were all really popular back in the day, and they made a name for themselves by arguing against religious people. And now, most people have moved on to other subjects, and nobody seems to be really having that debate with any great ferocity anymore. So why is this? Well, for starters, a lot of the people who were associated with that movement aren't as prominent in the public spotlight as they used to be, or they've moved on to other subject matters. Christopher Hitchens has obviously passed away, and Sam Harris seems to be focused more on uh, morality with his book The Moral Landscape, which has uh, ignited a lot of interesting debates independent of religious beliefs and thought. I personally really became interested in this debate around 2009-2010-ish. So sort of in the uh, heyday, of the, or like in the waning years of the debate, rather. And uh, I would argue on this website called Zanga, this blogging website with uh, creationists and Christians, and looking back at some of the arguments I made, they weren't really that good, and I myself can see the flaws in them. But at the same time, this public debate that we were having over the nature of the universe and whether or not God existed really shaped my worldview and shaped how I interact with others. It showed me uh, how to argue with people on an internet forum, how to uh, type out and uh, argue my points in a coherent way, and in general it was my first real experience arguing and discussing ideas with people, even if it was just on the internet. I mean, I was never the most social kid, so the internet was the way for me to do that. And starting around 2011 or 2012, it just sort of stopped. Now a lot of the prominent YouTube atheists are mostly focusing on other things. Uh, lately, the popular subject has been about um, feminism versus uh, MRAs or feminists versus anti-feminists or, you know, the whole SJW debate. And that's an interesting debate, but it's completely independent of religion. That seems to have supplanted the atheism-religion debate as the most prominent debate occurring on YouTube. I think that the main reason for this is twofold. One, I think at some point people just kind of got sick of arguing about it. I mean, I know I got personally sick of it because I was just arguing back and forth with creationists and uh, Christians and all their people, and I felt like I wasn't really changing any minds. I felt like I was just uh, owning my own debate skills, which is valuable, but it didn't really seem like it was worth it. So in retrospect, probably this debate was going to end eventually. But I also think it maybe have ended because, in some respects, we kind of won. I mean, think about it. More and more millennials these days are less religious. Most Americans accept evolution now. Uh, gay marriage has been legal for quite some time. Religious conservatives pretty much lost the culture war. Uh, full stop. So maybe we stopped having that debate because uh, people started to agree with us and no longer felt the need to have it. Regardless, I still sometimes miss the uh, New Atheist versus Christian era. It was an interesting time, and it was a very interesting public debate. 
Do any of you guys have any fond memories of this period? If so, uh, leave some thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Andrew Walker out.